dropping back, setting the edge uh, against the run. One aspect of what you do that you enjoy doing the most. Um, I mean, I enjoy rushing the passer. Uh, I feel like there's no, there's no quicker way to change um, the outcome of a game than uh, sacking the quarterback. So uh, probably rushing the passer is probably my favorite part. Jalen, you talked a lot after you were drafted about how you grew up uh, really admiring the Ravens and were a fan. Just walk, take us through your emotions walking into that building, seeing the photos, and, and just knowing you know, that, that it sunk in that you were a Baltimore Raven. Yeah, um, yeah, like it's just rich in tradition. Uh, I mean, you just get this. Uh, I got goosebumps when I first came in the building. I mean, you talk about like a long line of of uh, great players that came before you. Um, so you know the the standard was the standard and. You feel that when you walk in this building, like it's just uh, a feeling of excellence, and um, it just fired me up, and I was excited to get to work and uh, anxious to, to get on the field today. So, um, yeah, I, I, it, it was a, it was a great feeling. Jeff Saribe. And um, I know it's just day one of rookie mini camp, but what you touched on, what was it like to get on the field? And and I'm sure it's been a while in terms of a practice type setting and. and Kind of what do you hope to get out of this week in particular? Um, just to get better each and every day, uh, taking small steps um, with, with uh, whether it be learning the defense, closing the fronts, um, the assignment, getting our assignments down, playing with technique. Uh, obviously, we don't have on full pads right now, so everything is just about playing fast and um, playing with uh, extreme attention to detail to your technique. So just getting better with that, getting more comfortable um, in the system and you know, just taking, take, you know, getting better each day. So just uh, being a sponge, absorbing as much knowledge as possible. Um, coming to work every day with that, that with a humble worker men mentality, blue collar mentality, and uh, you know, just like I said, just getting better. Cliff Brown. Hey, Jalen, it's Cliff Brown, Ravens Media. Uh, welcome to Baltimore. Thank you. Um, just curious about one: Have you talked to any former or current NFL players? I know a lot of Notre Dame players have come into the NFL for advice about how to make the transition to this. And then secondly, how much does this defense seem the same or different than what you were in in Notre Dame? How do you see yourself fitting in? Um, yeah, I mean, you, you talk about uh, at Notre Dame, I mean, we've had a lot of guys, uh, especially in my class last year, um, because I redshirted when I got hurt. So I had a lot of guys that were, uh, you know, entered into the league last year. So I could, you know, I had a lot of guys at my disposal to just kind of ask, you know, what was their rookie year like, what to expect. Um, and, you know, the biggest thing is just being a sponge, uh, obviously being a sponge, um, absorb as much knowledge as possible, uh, do your best not to make the same mistakes twice, um, learn from your mistakes, and uh, just continue to get, get better day by day. Um, what was the second part of that question? Could you, uh, could you repeat that? I'm sorry. Oh, you're on mute. I think you're on mute. There sorry, you. yeah, about how the similar or different this defense is and what you were in in Notre Dame and how you see yourself fitting in. Uh, it's it's pretty different. Um, I mean, I'm playing Sam in uh, our Raven front, and then DN in our um, in our sub package. So it, it's it's a little bit different. Um, there's some there's some uh, nuances that are different, but uh, football is football. So you know, it's just about you know once you get your assignment down, obviously getting comfortable in the nuances of a new de of a new defense. Um, you know, just relying on your technique and getting better each and every day, and then just playing ball. Kevin Richardson. I hey, know David. Um, have you had a chance to talk to uh, Anthony Weaver? I know you're both uh, Notre Dame guys. And has he talked to you about being a Raven and what it is to be a Raven? Uh, I have not spoken to Coach Weaver yet, but I, I definitely plan to by the end of the week, uh, by, this, by the time Ricky Minicamp ends. So, definitely, you know, Notre Dame connection. So, you know, definitely got to gotta go sit down and talk with him. But, you know, most of my time has just been spent with, uh, with Coach Wilkins, Coach Wilkins and um, Coach, Rob Coach Robinson, just, you know, just learning, the, you know, just learning the defense and, you know, trying to get better and be as prepared as possible uh, when I get on the field. Gustavo Salazar. Hey, it's Salazar. I'm Gustavo Salazar from uh, Raven Spanish Radio. Uh, what was it like for you since the draft and coming up to this point, you know, to finally get put the pads on and getting on the field and finally, you know, being a Raven? Yeah. Um, I think, you know, I mean, after the draft, I think I had a day, a uh, day, a day, really. And then uh, we started uh, meeting to get our install. You know, uh, it was like I said, man, it's just blue collar mentality. Yeah, you know, it's all about working and being as prepared as possible. Um, so, you know, I think I had one day to really just kind of sit and, you know, just kind of enjoy um, the feeling of getting drafted. But after that, it was it was time to get ready to play ball. So 
Um, you know, it's just really been working, uh, install, studying, um, and, and just, you know, obviously working out, staying in shape, and then, you know, just coming here and getting ready to play. Uh, Karmovich? Yeah. Um, do you think you have to put on any extra muscle or weight uh, for coming into this season, or do you feel pretty good where you are? Uh, I feel pretty good where I'm at. Uh, I'm about 255, so um, that's probably about where I played at uh, th this past my senior year. Uh, so I feel pretty good about uh, my strength, my weight, and, uh, you know, uh, yeah, that, I feel pretty good about it. We'll close it out here with Luke Jones. Jalen, uh, one thing the, the Ravens like their edge guys to do is drop into coverage a good bit, and Matthew Judon was someone that they had who did that a lot, and, and he moved on. Uh, just where do you kind of feel you are as far as your pass coverage? I know you did a good bit at Notre Dame last year, and do you feel that that could be a path for you to, to see in the field a little bit more sooner than later? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like it's uh, something I feel pretty comfortable in. Um, just obviously, it's just about learning the nuances of the defense and, um, you know, just getting familiar with, you know, these, you know, different sets and different uh, route combinations, you know, that I really, at Notre Dame, I was dropping, but I, we didn't, you know, like really get into the, de you know, a lot of times I was always, I was always aligned to the boundary. So, you know, not a lot of route combinations, you know, coming like there, there are times where I could be in the field and there's all types of things that I could. Uh, be adjusting to so you know it's a little bit it's different but I mean that's what practice is for uh, that's what this time is for so um, I'm excited um, I'm embracing the challenge and uh, excited to see how that you know manifests itself in the fall hey Dalen we yes, appreciate sir. you joining us today thank you so much absolutely thank you guys appreciate all the warm welcomes to Baltimore too thank you guys I appreciate it <laughs>